Hey everybody, Amy here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a small purchase as well as some happy mail. The last several weeks I started doing mixed media mashup with Pink Poodle Crafts. Um, she does it late Wednesday evenings. In fact, we just got done with week 73. And I've been having a lot of fun doing that. So I have been getting just a little smidge of mixed media in my life. And I need it <laughs> in my life. I love both. I am so passionate about my paper crafting, my card making, rubber stamping, scrapbooking, and just making fun things with paper. Um, but I also love paints and inks and and doing that as well so i'm trying to find a happy medium and it's been kind of difficult um i i'm kind of all over the place you know for a month i may do a lot of paper crafting and then the next month you may see me doing junk journals and so forth so that's kind of what my channel is going to be about and um so long story short um i've been joining this mixed media mashup and i've really been enjoying myself so I've done three so far. I did week 70, week 71, and then I did this week, which was week 73. And so she also has an online shop, and I will try to link it below as well as her channel in case any of you want to check it out. Um, but during the Mixed Media Mashup, she shows, um, she talks about her shop, and she sells stencils and things like that. So, and all kinds of other things. So, her name is Stacy, and um, I've just been having a lot of fun playing, you know, with the mixed media mashup and meeting all the people over there on her live stream. So, I wanted to share what she sent. So, this, I'm going to take it out of the package. I haven't even used this yet, and I did receive this a couple weeks ago. And I'm super, super excited to play with the stencil. In fact, <laughs> she used it again tonight, and I forgot I purchased it. Um, because I've been so busy with all the other stuff <laughs> that I just basically set this aside. Um, so check this out. The stencil is super cool. I love it. And I cannot wait to use it. So that's one of the stencils that I, I purchased from her shop. And then the next one is this really pretty floral. And I just want to take it out of the package just so you don't have that awesome glare. And this one is super pretty as well. It's going to be so much fun to use with either sprays or texture paste. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited to play with these two. The third one, which... Oh my God, wait till you guys see this. <laughs> I am in love with this stencil. And yeah, I just, I don't know if she makes these. If she, um, I think she might. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check with her. I don't know too much about it, but check this. Oh, you guys, isn't she gorgeous? I love her. I am obsessed, and I cannot wait to do an art journal page with her. So she's stunning, and you know, you can flip it around and she could go that way too. So I do have a couple of Jane Davenport face stencils and stamps, which I've hardly touched. Um, so I really, 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 during the month of October, um, because I've, I've made so many Halloween crafts this month, I'm pretty stocked up. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, the swaps that I'm in are over, and I just kind of want to focus on my art this month. So I will be doing some cards as well and maybe some scrapbooking. Um, so I'm going to try to kind of pull a little bit of both worlds back in again because I'm really, really, really missing the mixed media stuff. And I have so much fun with it, and there's so much more that I want to learn. I want to do some paint pouring. Um, and I also want to do some blob art, um, which is just new to me. So I've got a lot of fun supplies coming my way that I ordered off of Amazon. And I'm hoping that I can share all of this with you guys before we get into the hectic November and December holiday months. 
So, anyways, I just wanted to share these three stencils with you. And then Stacy also sent me this beautiful ATC card, which I miss doing ATCs as well, you guys. I'm hoping you can see that. Let me pull it up like that. Isn't that pretty? So, what we do is we do this mixed media mashup on a big sheet of paper. So the paper that I use is like 11 by 14. And then when you're all done, you cut it up into cards or ATCs. So that is one that she sent me as a thank you for her order. And then she also sent me this really pretty print. Um, and this is definitely going to go in one of my, probably my, my junk journal, my personal junk journal. Um, the next one that I make, I, I think I will use this as a page in that. I think it's just gorgeous. So I just wanted to share that. Again, that is Pink Poodle Crafts. Um, so I will try to link all of her information down below in the description box if you guys want to check her out. And um, yeah, so... Like I said, she does Wednesday night mixed media mashups, and um, we just got done now. I don't even know what time it is. It could be close to midnight for all I know. The other thing is um, many of you know from early on when I first started my channel, I, I started out doing a lot of mixed media stuff. Um, even though I'm into, I, I, I'm really into the paper crafting, scrapbooking, and and cards and all of that but when I started I was really into junk journals and making junk journals and all that kind of stuff so um, I also did some videos on mixed media altered books which I learned from my mentor Lori Marie Jenkins here and here is the very first altered book that I worked on and it's not even done yet you guys I mean I've only made I've got two going right now, and neither one of them are finished. And I think, you know, she she does, she works on her altered books and a lot of mixed media projects, like, on a daily basis. She teaches classes. Um, so you're going to want to check her out. I belong to her Facebook group as well as um, I belong to her, I'm a Patreon. So every month I get all of the delicious images that I've been stockpiling <laughs> so that I can use them and I just haven't had a chance to get them in my book. Um, I really like to do the backgrounds and I'm just learning how to do collage art through Lori. Um, so anyways, uh, so this is my... Um, altar book that is 100% inspired by Lori Marie Jenkins and I'm not going to do a complete flip through of this um, until it is 100% finished. Um, so I just wanted to mention that and then this is the other one that I'm working on and as you guys know um, her techniques are all about layers. So I've got several pages done in here that are ready for her delicious images that I receive through being a Patreon. And so I will be adding these to this book and you'll be getting to see a more in-depth share of that as well. But what I'm really excited about is she sent me some happy mail. So whenever she sends me mail, she always sews it. It's so cool. And she just sews it in a magazine. And this is one that I won from her Patreon. And it's just really special to me. I know it doesn't look like, you know, I know you guys are thinking, okay, really, Amy? But for me, it's special because she hand stamped this and took the time to send it to me. So thank you so much, Lori Marie. I just, um, I'm going to put some little trinkets in here and hang on to that. And I just love that bear image. I may use him in a future project as well. Um, the other really super cool thing is that she, um, she does live streams, I think every Wednesday on her Facebook page. And um, she sometimes does stuff on her Patreon page that she doesn't show on her YouTube channel. Um, but one of the big things is that she's really into layering book pages and things like that. 
and she had a friend of hers send her some super old vintage um, newspapers. I think these are from Czechoslovakia. So I'm not 100% sure, but <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking, you know. To some of you, you're probably thinking that this is garbage. But to me, it is like, <laughs> I cannot wait to use this in my altered book. And you guys will see what I do with it. But not only did she send me one, or not only was she nice enough to send me anything, but she sent me three of these. And so it's obviously in, um, I think, like I said, I think this is from Czechoslovakia. And I believe the year, I thought I saw the year 1939. So super cool. Um, I've got some vintage paper here and I'm super excited. Um, and she did the same thing with this envelope. She sewed it. I just think that's so much fun. So anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys and also to let you know that, you know, I'm not skipping out on, for those of you who enjoy watching my art journaling and junk journaling, um, as well as my mixed media altered books. I'm going to be getting back into that because I miss it so much. Um, I'm also going to be doing a lot of other things too. Um, but some of the things that I created on the um, mixed media mashup, like I said, the pages are so big that I'm, I'm working with that I was able to, so for the first week, um, I was able to get a bunch of cards out of it. Um, so like I made um, a bunch of cards that I will be sending out for thank yous. I just need to stamp in here thank yous and maybe put a cool fun image on there. Um, it's actually really neat just as it is. So this is another one that I did. Um, so this was like, I think this was week 71. This was week 72. But here is, here's a card that I made with part of the paper. And then tonight I made these cards. So like I said, it starts out as a big sheet and then you just cut it down. And that is, so I've just made some cute little cards. Um, and these I used the neon paints. I thought they were fun. And then I also made like a postcard size project as well as a bunch of ATCs. So you can see, if you put it all together, you'd be able to see that this was all one big, huge piece. And then when you cut it down, it looks completely different. Um, I will try to put in pictures um, of the whole project somewhere in the video so that you can check it out. But um, yeah, I really, really have been missing doing the mixed media and junk journaling and art journaling so I will be bringing that back into my channel but I'm also going to be keeping um, I also like to do cards and scrapbooks and things like that so um, you guys are going to kind of see it all from me and I just wanted to forewarn you that there may be some videos that you are partial to and some that you're not and that's okay um, but I do hope that you stick around because I really am grateful for all of you that watch my channel and comment. And yeah, it just warms my heart. So thank you so very much. Uh, yeah, so that was about it for this, you guys. Thanks, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great night. Bye.